Hello, everyone. My name is Jordan Wolf. I'm here alongside junior uh, utility player for the Quinnipiac baseball team, Kyle Maves, just less from a month into the start of this season. So, Kyle, my first question for you is what drew you to coming to QU? Yeah, um, you know, I think it was kind of a combination of, of the coaching staff. Uh, you know, obviously we have a really good coaching staff, Coach D, Coach Eags, um, both played professional baseball. So um, they have a pretty good background. And then uh, the school as well, um, you know, the academic reputation of the school um, that it has is, is something that really drew, uh, drew me to QU. And, and that's kind of why I landed on QU. Your freshman year, you know, you had 17 stolen bases. You had a 17 for 18 rate, which means you got caught stealing once. Mm -hmm. So, and you also finished third on the team in steals. So how did you get yourself acclimated so quickly? Yeah, um, I think, you know, part of it was uh, coach Joe Mangiamelli. He was our volunteer since my freshman year. Um, he placed a heavy emphasis on base stealing. Um, and he, he would always kind of, whenever I get down to first base, he'd make me feel comfortable. and. Um, kind of let me know that the times the pitcher was was delivering the ball to home plate and um, you know good counts to go and he kind of helped me out through that through that sense um, and then just kind of just as, as I went through just getting more comfortable more confident with the base ceiling and I think I had one weekend against St. Peter's where I had like five or six stolen bases and you know after that weekend I just I just felt really comfortable on the bases and, and tried to be as aggressive as possible and um, you know it kind of worked out in the end so Speaking of something that also worked out, in 2019, we both know how historic that year was, which you guys winning the MAC and you went to the NCAA tournament, you are able to win a game there. But what was the most special part for you about being part of that team? The most special part for me was was coming in as a freshman, right? You don't have you don't have too many expectations, right? You don't know what what's gonna what's gonna happen, what's what to expect. But um, you know, you could tell early in the fall that we had a we had a pretty solid uh, club that year. Um, and I think just the most special part was going along the ride with, with my brothers, right? Um, you know, those guys, those seniors and those juniors, they helped, they made us feel welcome as freshmen right away. And I think that's something that you don't see too much um, from other programs. And that's something that, that kind of made it all more special was to win with seniors who treated us like we were senior, like our, like our freshmen were, were seniors. Um, and I think that was the coolest part and to see them, because um, they obviously battled their whole career, guys like Anthony Cruz, Brian Mosky. So going into your sophomore year, what was something that you wanted to work on in the off season? You know, I think to be honest with you, I was trying to work on, on my power numbers. You know, my first year I was a little bit more of a, a slap hitter, right? Just kind of putting the ball in play and, and putting it on the ground and beating it out to first. Um, um, you know, I think I got a little too carried away with, with trying to work on that. And um, obviously it's nice to have a little power, but you don't want to you don't want to take it too far. And I think I did. Um, obviously, I got off to a little bit of a slow start at the beginning of the year. But, um, you know, I think I kind of, with Coach D, was kind of just like, listen, you got to go back to, to what who you are and what you know. And um, I think I was kind of rounding into form there at the end of the year. And it, it sucks that it got canceled. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to a big junior year. So, obviously, um, going into last season, you know, you guys were trying to ride off the high of going – everything you accomplished in the 2019 season. And then all of a sudden, out of, completely out of your control, it just stops. So what were some of the things that you had to do to be able to stay in shape just in case the season did decide to come back or just decided not to come back? Yeah, so it was actually tough because when I went home to Canada, um, you know, the gyms were closed, uh, baseball facilities were closed. Um, so it was, it was kind of tough for me personally, but um, you know, I would, I would go to the local field and take ground balls and, and hit with my dad, actually, just kind of off a tee into a net. Um, and then just kind of running sprints, and then I'd work out. I have a little bit of weights in my basement, so I would just try to keep my body in shape because, um, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't think that the, the college season was going to come back, but I knew that I had to be ready in case it, it came, and um, unfortunately it didn't, but but those are kind of, that, that was kind of the things that I, that I went through. So thank you so much for the time. No and good luck with uh, preparing for the season. I can't wait to watch you guys.